hello everyone welcome to the my youtube channel in this video we will see how to perform the molecular docking using autodock vena so before starting in this first video we will going to cover uh, the first part you know of, uh, to perform the molecular docking vena that is the protein preparation so before starting for the protein preparation the first thing that you will have to uh check is that there are there are few software or the few tools which is needed in order to perform the molecular docking the first software that you needed uh, that is the discovery visual studio so you will have to install it in your system second will be the game draw so you can you, uh, you can install the latest version of the game draw and once you install the game draw package the ultimately the game 3d will be installed automatically the second will be the mgl tools so you can download it from the uh, search it on the google and uh, there the, the script research institute website you will get it the mgl tool uh, from there and the last one will be the autodoc vena so these are the tools you know or the, the main tool which we needed for to perform the molecular docking so uh, just one thing uh, the mgl tools and the autodoc vena are the different software uh, whenever you install it there are few uh, configuration that we will have to set up to in order to perform the molecular docking molecular docking so uh, uh, we will get started for the protein preparation uh okay so uh in order to start for the protein preparation the so first thing you will have to download the protein from the protein data bank so for that you will have to go to the open the uh, rcsb.org website you can search it on the uh, google also as well as like if you search on the google as a pdb so you will get it the first home page for the uh, to download your protein so once you log into the page the first thing that you will have to be uh, ensure over here uh, you will have to uh, select the any protein or the any protein id that uh, you have been selected for that particular protein to perform the molecular docking so selection of the target receptor it is also the complex process in order to select the uh, target receptor you will have to perform some literature some literature analysis uh, like which are the target receptor for your study depending on the literature um, uh, or the specific reference uh, references on the basis of that you can select the target receptor once you select the target receptor depending on the literature if you have the pdb id of that particular compound so you can like uh, uh, you can paste that particular pdb id uh, over here the pdb id is always be the four uh, letters the, so you will have to uh, type the pdb id over here so let me give you the one example so if you see when I paste the PD by D over here, so you will have to select that one and ultimately uh, the page will direct you to that particular protein. So this is the one reference protein that I, I, I have been selected for as a reference to perform the molecular docking. So uh, once you have been selected your protein, the first thing you will have to download that particular protein in PDB format. So if you see, uh, we have the different, you know, there will be a tab for download the file. Click on the download files. After that, select the PDB format. So the plain PDB format that you will have to select in order to download the protein. Okay. So uh, once you have download, downloaded that protein, so just open that particular protein in Discovery Visual Studio. So we we are going to prepare our protein using Discovery Visual Studio. So that is the one software that I am going to use over here in order to uh, prepare our protein. Okay. So uh, if you see, I just uh, change my mouse mode to the rotate. So if you see, uh, this is the protein that I have been deleted. Sorry, I have been the I downloaded it from the protein data bank and uh, I, have, I have opened it from the disk in, in discovery visual studio okay so i have opened the hierarchy over here so if you see in this particular protein there are the different outer molecular present and if you see this protein uh sometimes the protein might be you know associated with uh, uh, some molecule 
or some already in complex with some molecules so so at that time you you may need to uh, you know remove that particular uh, protein okay so first i am going to delete the water molecule so you will have to click on the water molecule so if you see all the water molecule has been highlighted into the yellow color so there are two ways to remove the water molecule the first way you can right click on the water molecule click on the cut so ultimately uh, automatically the water molecule has been deleted the second step click on the water molecule go to the uh, uh, then go to the edit and click on delete so if you see the water molecule has been deleted over here so the very important thing uh, over here is that the discovery visual study is ultimately suggest you like which is the active site present in this particular uh, protein site okay so uh, depending on that so you can select like uh, these are the location if you see the yellow highlighted one amino acid which is the active site for this particular protein so uh, in autodoc vena we we do not have you know the functionality to select the grid selection so we will have to give the x y z coordinates in the in the confi file uh, to perform the molecular docking in the specific location okay so to uh, to extract those x y z coordinates for this particular uh, active site so i'm going to do click on the right just just give me a second So click on the active site. Click on from receptor. Okay. So click on from current selection. So if you see the active site has been uh, highlighted, the circle, you know, uh, this 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 type of circle will be highlighted the active site of the that particular compound. So what you need to do, you just have to click on the active site, then click on the from current selection. So it automatically this type of uh, circle uh, will be, uh, you know. Um, will be uh, will be automatically populate over here okay so once that the so if you see at the last the spd side sphere uh, has been already generated so this is uh, this is just showing the active site or the grid selection that has been you have been selected for to perform the molecular docking so we are going to perform the docking in this particular selected areas only because the active site which is present in this particular uh, grid selection only so you there are another option that if you wanted to increase the size of that particular grid so just you just have to click on the expand so ultimately if the, the grid has been uh, the grid size has been automatically increased or if you if you want to decrease it you can click on the contact so uh, contract so automatically the grid selection size has been decreased now we needed the actual you know uh, the actual uh, x y z coordinates in in order to perform the molecular docking so to get the, those x y z coordinates to perform the molecular docking using autodoc vena you will have to right click on the spd site square go to the attributes to the x y z coordinates and then if you see the x y z coordinates has been given over here so this this x y z coordinates actually we needed to perform the or uh, to get you know to uh, to get it the molecular docking done in this particular active site area or in this particular grid selection area okay so uh, uh, so i'm just i'm just i'm just going to you know copy this particular x y z coordinates into the confi file so when you have installed the autodoc vena so autodoc vena is ultimately ultimately get installed in uh, in your uh, system and then you will have to uh, you know select one specific location where you are going to actually perform the molecular docking so if you see i have created one folder that is the name under the c drive that is the docking and so all the parameter on all the docking that i am going to perform in the molecular docking folders only so to perform the molecular docking in the specified folder the first after installing the water dock vena what i'm going to do i'm going to the program file then if you see the script research institute folder has been created go to the vena and these are the three files that you will have to copy and uh, 
copy that particular file and uh, paste it into the you are the specified location where you actually perform the uh, molecular docking and the next file that we actually needed that is the config so this is the config file that i will uh, uh, i will add this particular file into the uh, description of this video and this is the file that actually needed where actual configuration for to perform the molecular docking that has been given in this file so the xyz coordinates that we have selected we will have to paste those xyz coordinates in this particular area the xyz coordinates so i'm just going to add if you click on that the first will be the x coordinates then you will have to add those coordinates paste those coordinates over here respectively you will have to add those okay after that just click on save and the file has been saved now okay so uh, we did you know uh, we have prepared our protein so in some cases sometimes the uh, you know uh, uh, the actual mole the protein is already complex with some uh, other molecules so at that time we will have to uh, delete that particular molecule to you know to prepare the protein just only protein should be there the amino acid chain that we actually needed to perform the molecular docking okay so now in the, in the next step that i am going to save this particular ligand as a protein data bank file so click on save as once you click on save as so i am going to save is save it into the uh, the location that ha have been selected So I'm going to name it as a protein. Select files type as a protein data bank files and click on save. So if you see my protein has been saved now. So uh, in this video, we have you know prepared our protein. So the protein has been prepared. So in, in the next video, we will going to see how to prepare the ligand. So thank you for joining. Please like, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you.